The buzz at J.B. Terravella High School in Coral Springs is all about the flag fight between Haitian students and the school's administrator. The students say that she confiscated their flags when they were displaying their heritage for Haitian Flag Day. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live to explain. Well, Janine and Victor, Broward County uh, basically prides itself on having one of the most culturally diverse school districts in the entire country. And this week, many people celebrated Haitian Flag Day, but when students at this high school, some of them at least, decided to join in on those celebrations, they say they only got their materials confiscated as a result. Students at J.P. Terravella High are highly encouraged to celebrate their heritage, but on Haitian Flag Day on Wednesday, a few students say they were discouraged from displaying their pride. One girl, Denitra Toomer, taking to Twitter, writing, while we are proudly taking a picture representing Haiti, she comes and snatches our property. She, according to students, was the 12th grade assistant principal, Lisa Panazzo. This photo, placed on social media, appears to show that administrator grabbing some items, but it does not show what, if anything, happens seconds before. This on the same day that Broward School Superintendent Robert Runcie tweeted about the adoption of a resolution to support Haitian heritage and culture in the district. But Denitra says she was only encouraged to take down her disparaging tweets, and when she refused, she wrote this, they're putting me in IS, or in-house suspension, because I won't take down my posts. She talked down on me because I supposedly degraded her reputation. End quote. We've been in touch with that high school student who says she's since gotten an apology. And we reached out to the Broward County Public School District and they have sent over this statement that says, quote, school administrators indicate they did not in any way violate or infringe upon the rights of students during Haitian Flag Day. Students were only addressed if they were in violation of the policy specifically regarding bandanas and hats. At no time were students asked not to show their pride. Bottom line, they say that students were only asked to remove capes or our hats because it is not with the student code of conduct and the dress code here at J.P. Terravella High. We know that the principal here has also issued an apology uh, via Twitter to students saying that this should not have happened the way that it did. We are live in Coral Springs. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.